afternoon baseball here on the show. Today, a spring training matchup between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Philadelphia Phillies. In now, Johnny Monell, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Stroman comes set. Here's the first pitch. Oh, oh and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. And this is a guy who will right not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. Hey, like again, like again. And it's quickly 0-2. Okay, right here. Let's go, okay. Here we go. A pause and the 0-2. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Two Lewitsky for He's one. Out. On to Encarnacion, and they get them both. A double play. Batting eight. Johnny Monell is set to lead us off Leading in the home the half of the fourth inning. Catcher. And right here is an important Johnny. time for them to climb oh, back wow. into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner they rather than later. Right Hit out towards second. There is Travis. And he's oh. retired one away. Now batting. Johnny Monell strides in, grounded out his last time through. And now with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Drilled on the ground is short. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And they continue to rack up the hits. That puts runners on first and second now. But, as we always say... Aaron Altair will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Hey, get a good one. Get a good piece on it, huh? Let's go. The 0-2 delivery. And a ground ball to Tulowitzki. This might be two. Oh, you're here, you're here. To second for one. On oh. the first, it's a double play. And another crisis is averted here as the inning is over. Phillies down on just four pitches. They still trail. Johnny Monell. We'll lead things off here in the ninth in what's been a truly forgettable ball game for this home nine and not a very inspiring performance either. And I guess the kicker for me is the way that these guys are responding. It's one thing to go out and get clobbered. It happens, but when you get guys going through the motions, not running out ground ball. And guys, I think you might agree there's little doubt that the star... MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, a spring training matchup between the Phillies and the Toronto Blue Jays. Odubel Herrera heads for the box, ready to lead this one off today. We'll jump ahead now to the bottom of inning number one. Troy Tulowitzki comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
We'll jump forward in this one to the top of inning number two. Ryan Howard makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. In now, Andres Blanco, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Travis. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting six. Cody Ashy into the box here in the top Cody of the second, Ashy. looking to keep this inning going. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the Phillies have their first hit of the ball game. Uh, you could see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. Stepping in now, Freddie Galvis, as he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit. No. Jose Batista strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. We'll jump ahead and pick this one up in the top of inning number three. Leading off, for Leading off the inning, Johnny Monell, as they'll look to get something Monell. going here and even this game up. Now here's the ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field, and it brings the Phillies back even now with one apiece. And about the only silver lining to this one, from a defensive standpoint, is the fact that it came with the bases empty, leading off an inning. So you can survive it when this guy's hitting just solo shots. It's when he's doing his damage with two or three guys on base that things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Into the box, Aaron Altair. Aaron Altair. Drilled on the ground is short. He's got it. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. The center fielder, Odubel, Odubel Herrera, Herrera, digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Travis fields it cleanly. In time to first, and there are two away. Up next for Philadelphia, Cesar Hernandez is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Hard liner toward short. But this is right to Tulowitzki at short, and that'll end the inning. So one run on one base hit. Devin Travis digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. We'll move ahead now to the top of inning number four. Michael Franco will start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. The first base pass. At the plate, Ryan Howard. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Yeah, that's a very hittable location right there. Not where you want to be when you're facing a guy like this. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Tulowitzki for one. Back to first, and that takes care of Howard. It's a double play. Uh, I think this one falls into the category of Taylor May. Here you go. 
one, two hops to second, the feed to the bag, and a 4-6-3 double play. That's as easy as it comes. Into the box now, Andres Blanco. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Phillies down on just four pitch. Jose Bautista is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Time to pick this one up now in the top of inning number five. Leading off for the Phillies. Cody Ashey heads for the box to start off the fifth Cody in this one. Ashey. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! Cody Ashey with a solo home run, and it's given the Phils a 2-1 to one lead. In now, Freddie Galvis, Freddy Galvis, as he swings and hits a line drive out to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left, as this is hauled in for the first out. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here comes the first pitch. Shot toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count. Kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax and forget about you for a minute. Then you get that fastball middle in, and you jump all over it. Standing in now, Aaron Altair. And a ground ball to Tulowitzki. This might be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So it's one run on two hits with the big blow being the home run. No errors and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. Phillies on top. Michael Saunders comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Due to time constraints, we'll pick this one up in the top of inning number six. Odubel Herrera will stand in to start Center things Hilder. off as this Odubel. top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. The windup and the 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Pilar. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman. Cesar, Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez will take another shot here. He's flied out and lined out in two trips. Well, 0 for 2, but he's taken some decent hacks. Could see a better result in this at bat. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Michael Franco will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. In the air to center field and deep back is the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. Two run shot to straightaway center as they take the lead four to three. Well, this is the chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it and sends it right over the wall. Here's big Ryan Howard now down the first baseline and a heck of an effort over there at first but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball here's the 0 1 pitch he pulls this one into right Bautista is back in plenty of time to put this away however and there are two gone well he's now 0 for 3 in this one but he's had a couple of good at bats mixed in there he's seeing the ball really well they just don't want to fall in for him hit sharply toward the right side a screaming base hit here, his first of the night. 
Cody Ashey. We'll stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is sent high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second of the game, and it's now 6-3. to three. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, heading for second now. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Johnny Monell will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Aaron Altair strides now in back. now, and we'll see if he right can come fielder. through with two on Aaron and two out Altair. here in the sixth. Well, there's still a lot of this game left, but it is starting to get late. This is a big opportunity that they don't want to let slip away. Now a long throw home, and they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Coming to the plate again, Odubel Herrera, as he'll bat for the second time in the inning. And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. Cesar Hernandez steps in. He scored after reaching on a single his last time up. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield here would be big for these guys. It could score two. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Belted. Deep center field. Ranging back is Pilar. Still going back. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And the runner from second is in to score. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. And the ball's waiting for him, and he's out at the plate as he pretty much just ran out of gas out there. But not before they close. Jose Batista is stride forward to lead it off. With some tired legs after being out in the field for that last half inning. Time to move ahead to the top of inning number seven. Leading off for Philadelphia. Third baseman number seven. Mike oh, Gallo. and a hearty Bronco. cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. And you know what? These days, so many guys are throwing in the high 90s. It makes those mid to low 90s guys look easy. But I'll tell you what. If he mixes his pitches well, it can still be plenty fast to have to deal with. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Right side and right into the shift. Backhanded on the first, and the shift pays off there as Howard is retired for the second out. Now batting, designated hitter, Andres Blanco. Andres Blanco gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. First offering on its way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Hit hard towards second. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. It wasn't just that he was getting fastballs there. He was getting hittable fastballs. This catches a ton of the plate, and he turns it around for a solid single. Cody Ashey is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And it's quickly 0-2. Pause and the 0-2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Seventh inning stretch time here in the Sunshine State. The Phillies lead it 10 to 3. Michael Saunders 
will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. Well, not a great start at the plate. We'll see if he can get something to drive right here. We'll look ahead now and pick this one back up in the top of inning number eight. Leading off for the Phillies. Freddie Galvis comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. And, Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Johnny Monell is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. And now the Blue Jays get a left-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field. And deep back is the right fielder. But he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. Oh, whatever these guys are putting in their pregame meal, you can be darn sure they're getting the same setup tomorrow. That's five home runs as a team now. I mean, these guys are feeling it up there. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Altair. Into the box, Aaron Altair. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. Now so a solo shot center here to left field center field oh, as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Line to the right side. Bautista is there. Two down. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way, but one of those situations where... And you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. Michael Franco comes forward as he'll try to replicate what he did back in the sixth, that being a home run, of course. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. Uh, he's living on the edge with some of these pitches here. Uh, he gets that one by him, but he might not get away with that a second time. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. And you wonder if this is a ball that he probably should have just held on to. Instead, he tries to force it to first, and I think they're going to score this as a single and an error. Here's big Ryan Howard now. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. The runner scores from second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Phillies lead this one 14-3. A.C. Reed will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. And we'll move forward now to the top of inning number nine. Andres Blanco digs in, coming off a single in his last at-bat. Hit hard on the ground to third. Played on the backhand. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Not much more to say here. I mean, this has just been an awful performance from these guys. Top to bottom. They can't hit the ball, they can't catch the ball, and they can't throw the ball. Nothing has gone right. They got to be thinking, this one, it can't end soon enough. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh, high. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A 
a two-run blast to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Frank Reese has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Daryl Siciliani will also come in now as he takes over out in center. Into the box now, Freddie Galvis, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Oh, man, if you're a pitching coach, you might want to update your resume after this performance. His guys have been brutal. Smoked on the ground, left side. That's through. He's got a base hit. His second in this one, two for five now. Up next for Philadelphia. Johnny Monell stands in again here with two home runs already to his name in this one. And you know what, Matt? He's just made it look so easy out there. I think they've got to change their approach right here. Use some caution or something. Sliced hard on the ground. And that'll just sneak past the glove, and it should be a base hit. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Aaron Altair will stand in yet again, and he, of course, has had one of the big blows in the contest so far. This was back in the eighth, as this solo shot proved to be a very important run in this ballgame. Ball's there, and he is out trying to take second. Good throw. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. And they'll slap the tag on him between third and home, and it's a costly double play. Scorched to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. One error. Russell Martin will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award? Game. Yeah, Four he hours. delivered more than once.
Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this is your Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. In the AL Central, the Kansas City Royals knocked out 10 hits as a team as they got the best of the visiting Mets, 6-2. to two. The Miami Marlins allowed only five hits as they were able to get the walk-off victory against the Tigers, 3-2. to two. The Giants got 11 overall hits as they took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee, 5 to nothing. The Pirates put together 10 hits total as they got the best of the visiting Redbirds, 8-6. The Arizona Diamondbacks pitched well, allowing... Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Reds completed a short two-game sweep as they walked off in dramatic fashion against the Phillies, 4-3. At the moment, the Reds are atop the NL Central. The Phillies sit in last place in the National League East. Tanner Roark... It's Monday morning and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting off in the National League East, the Philadelphia Phillies only allowed two hits in the game as they took care of the Mets at City Field, two to nothing. Heading into today, the Mets are in last place in the NL East. The Phillies are in third place in the NL East. The Atlanta Braves got the win in extra innings over the Cardinals, four to three. Right now, the Braves are in second place in the NL East. The Cardinals are in third place in the NL Central. The Marlins allowed five hits in the game as they took down... NL East. The Marlins are in first place in the NL East. Time for baseball on the show from the bank, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And here's a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting San Diego Padres. Who are you focused on, E.K.? Well, a guy that's looking to... Johnny Monell will stand in. And as you can see, the big number there, he's up over 400 to begin the campaign. hit hard towards center and that's in there base hit now third base coach Juan Samuel is going to wave him in and they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score you think he was looking for a fastball there I think he was that's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see him he was right on that one Johnny Monell 
Stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Lifted the other way out to left center. Jay on the run. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Johnny Monell will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. So with the leadoff man at first, time to jump back a half century or so as we call on today's version of this date in baseball history. Johnny Monell digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as the Phillies have opened things up now 4 nothing. And guys, you wonder if this home run makes it an easier decision to send that start. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around game for him here. You'll see on the line... With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Tonight, the second of four between the San Diego Padres, Vince Velasquez, Johnny Monell will stand in. And as you can see, the big number there, he's up over 400 to begin the campaign. Well, right now, he's in the prime of his career. So these are the years you'd really expect to see the best of what a guy's going to have to offer. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. Right here, find and the, the ball. runner from second is in to score. And a relay to the plate. The tag here oh, by Norris is not in time, and the run's in to score. Striding into the box, Johnny Monell. And he'll be looking to add on to his two now, RBIs from earlier. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Uh, but he'll recover in time to get the lead runner at second. So a heads-up play. Johnny Monell comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Cashner gets the sign. First pitch on its way. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. The relay. But it won't hey. be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Well, he's right on the fastball Third here. You get seven. a look. He gets Punch that bat head out Punch front and just rips it. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Johnny Monell. He'll try to Johnny. follow up the double Monell. in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. So it's a two-run shot to right center, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Into the box now, Johnny Monell. He's already got four RBIs in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Hit hard back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. And here's it. And 
fellas. As always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around game for him here. you see on the line score. With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the San Diego Padres and the Philadelphia Phillies. Johnny Monell will stand in right on the heels of a four-for-five ball game a night ago. Well, you look at the average on the season, guys, and he's not sneaking up on anybody. Pretty amazing. Oh, hold on. What a stop. One there. Not in time. And almost a great play. Leading off the inning, Johnny Monell. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Oh, my goodness. This guy is really starting to heat up now. That's eight straight games with a base hit. He's been fun to watch. Johnny Monell gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown team. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. So with the leadoff man aboard, we take a trip into the recent past here as we call on our graphic for today's edition of This Day in Johnny Monell will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that... Hang on, this is hit deep into right center. This looks to have enough, and it does. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number five. So a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that's... With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the San Diego Padres. Johnny Monell will stand in for the first time now, coming off a three-hit contest in the loss last night. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Eric? Well, Matt, they really need. Leading off the inning, Johnny Monell, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Jay will wait on it. One pitch, one away. Johnny Monell. We'll stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. 
And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Oh, you talk about being comfortable at the plate. That's the way he's feeling. Into the box now, Johnny Monell. He singled his last time up. And they take another single right here, too, no doubt. Runner in scoring position, so any ball into the outfield probably gets him home. Ripped on the ground to first. Come on, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. And guys, little doubt that the big bat here tonight belonged to this gentleman right here, Peter Borges. Strike a pose. He's our top player of the game. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking. are in third place in the NL West. The Nationals...